also spent some time in uh, world class championships. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what were the Von Erichs like in those days? Mm, man, loose cannons, man. It was pretty wild. It's pretty sad. It's sad now looking back at it. At the time, he just shook her head and wondered, what the fuck? What are these guys doing? Um, you know, I, I felt a lot for um, Chris Von Erich. He never wanted to wrestle, you know, but he was forced into it. If you're a Von Erich, you're going to wrestle. And, uh, and Kerry, I, got, I think everybody had a soft spot for Kerry because he was just that big, big kid, man, just trying to have fun in life, you know. And, uh, you know, David, David was definitely the best wrestler out of the bunch. Um, did then you, you ever look have at, to wrestle them when oh they yeah. were under the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it was worse or better, you know, because <laughs> sometimes they kind of cooled them down a little bit. Uh, it, was, it was funny one time, one of my first matches was Gino and I and Chris Adams against the three. And uh, um, one of them turnbuckled Gino, and, and Gino went into the corner, and he does this. And I yell at him, hey. What the hell is that? What kind of move is that? He goes, you'll see. So a couple minutes later, I got in the ring, and I got thrown into the corner, and I didn't put this shit up. And all of a sudden, here comes Kevin, who was outside the ring, flying across the ring and diving at me and catching me with an elbow and knee and everything else at once, man. Just a massive potato. So that's what you did. It was defense, man. Block everything. So, yeah, it was sad. But, you know, the whole thing, those guys... You know, them dying and committing suicide, it's just senseless crap, man, it really is.